Hello, um, today I'm going to show you how to build multiple applications uh, using Code Igniter uh, but with just one base installation of Code Igniter. Right, so what I'm going to do here, uh, I've already downloaded the Code Igniter 3 folder. Uh, so basically, uh, this is the item here, as you can see, Code Igniter 3. Here with the application folder, session, system, uh, user guide, and so on in the index file. So the very first thing you need to do is to, let's say for example, as an example, you have two applications, uh, but they need to use like maybe the same coordinate installation. So we know that uh, everything here that coordinate works on is in the system folder. So, but here, let's say maybe as an example, if your website and the also is an admin panel. So what you're going to do, your website is going to be in the application folder. And then you are also then going to have an admin panel. And you can actually separate that and have it in its own uh, admin folder. So the first thing that we're going to do is just duplicate this folder. Uh, just copy and paste it here and then rename it to admin so that it becomes our admin folder right so we now have two applications uh, the application folder okay for simplicity let's just change this one uh, let's call it site so that we know that this is our front end website and then this is our admin panel right so the next thing that you need to do right uh, the index PHP file needs to be edited so that it points to the correct uh, application in this case we now have two applications the site application and the admin application so the very first thing is to duplicate the index file as well so copy and paste it and then this one will call it admin.php and this one is supposed to point to the admin folder and the index file is supposed to point to the site folder right so first of all let's open the index file and then just do a little bit of configuration right as you can see here right we've changed the main main application folder uh, to site so here what you need to do is to say application folder is no longer application is now site right and then you save that and then everything else will remain the same right but then uh, there's one more thing that we need to do um, since we want to what we want to do is uh, sometimes you know when you're building an application there are quite a number of uh, functions or libraries that you want to be shared by both applications as an example let's say maybe it's the login system you may not need to have a separate login system for the site and for the admin panel you may just use the same uh, login system so instead of having to install a login system in the site folder and the other one in the admin folder you can just simply have one login system which resides in the system folder but then remember now when you want to do updates it's a, it's a, it becomes a bit difficult if you add more files to the system folder so what we're going to do instead is to create a, a separate folder within the system folder so we'll just create a new folder and then we'll call it shared so this will be where all our um, custom files will reside and in, in the shared folder we're going to have uh, the libraries folder uh, libraries for our system for our shared system libraries and then we're also going to have uh, our models so we'll call this one models right and then we're also going to have uh, shared configuration files right so we'll call this one config right okay so i think this is it this is basically what we need now to get started now what one more thing that we need to do is to go back to our index file right and then we we'll now need to define um, the location of our shared folders so to do that um, right let's just scroll down here we have the definition of base path which basically just point to the points to the system path now we need to add um, the path to the shared folder so we'll call it um, shared folder so you let's say a path to the system shared folder and then we'll call it uh, the shared path right like this and then um, what we need to do here is to then add uh, dot forward slash shared because this is where our shared folder will be right shared and then remember to add the forward slash at the front right so we now have defined the shared path now we also need to do the same thing to the admin panel to the admin dot php so that it can also have access to the shared folder so open admin dot php right here our first thing is to change the application folder it's no longer application is now admin and then we scroll down find um, the way there's the definition of the base path and then just paste there and add the shared path so now both the index.php and the admin.php have access to the shared path so the next thing right here what we need to do is to tell code igniter to also check uh, the shared 
folder you know for library like for example when you load a library you want to you also want it to check in the libraries folder in the models folder and in the configuration folder right so what we're going to do let's go to the system call and then open loader.php so basically what we want to do we don't want to mess up with this file so what we're going to do is to go into each individual application that we've created we're going to create um, a custom loader function uh, but in this case we're only interested in the in these variables right so what we're going to do is we're going to go to right we're just going to copy this okay just copy this okay let's just copy everything control okay what you can just do let's just do this control shift save so we're saving it as a new file and then we'll go back to coordinates to our base directory to home directory and then go to the site first of all and then we go to call right then loader will now save it as my loader.php right and then inside you change its name instead of ci loader it's now my my loader right so what's next the next thing is to then just delete everything else except the definition of the variables that was that's what we need to override so we just uh, then delete control shift and control shift and and then you delete everything in there so that we're only left with the variables All right so what we need to do here is to say okay uh, so here first of all we need to specify the uh, the path to the libraries so as you can see here on line 73 we have up path and base path so we now need to add our shared path so that uh, coordinator will also check in our shared, shared folder for any uh, models that are shared any libraries that are shared the same thing goes to the models as well so after up path also add shared path like that right and then also we can also add the helper files you can also have your own help shared helper files these ones you can just also add here shared path so what means we need to create uh, let's go back here to our shared folder we also need to add an, another folder for our helpers any helpers that you want to to, to be shared between all the files all the applications that you build now remember this approach you can have as many out multi, uh, as many applications as you want as long as you create uh, a, a corresponding index file uh, for each application that you create right so this is it so we now have a path so okay so now we have the up path and the shared path right then so that's it so that's for the loader but now uh, as you can see here we've only specified the shared path for the libraries the models and the helpers how about the configurations now what you need to do is to open the um, go to core again and then find the config file right where is it there it is open the config file right what we're going to do here as you can see here in the configuration file there's this setting as well which specifies where to search for configuration files in this case it only says search from the up path but we also want to add the base path so we're going to do what we did with the, with the loader so control shift save as and then go to our base directory go to site and then we go to core again and then save the config file as my config remember up to, uh, capital letter my underscore config and then you save and then also then here we just delete also everything uh, except the variable definitions right so control shift and then just remember to delete the last brace there and there we go so yeah after up path we then add shared path so basically we are also now able to add to load configuration files which are stored in the la in the shared uh, in the shared folder right so basically we have managed to specify uh, configurations for we've managed to configure our coordinate application to, 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 to load shared resources from the shared folder. Now what we've done here, basically uh, you can now add your, your own configuration files in the config folder, you can add your helpers in the helpers folder, uh, your libraries in your own and your own models. So let's just keep the shot and see if it's working correctly. So just come here and then refresh right so you can see cannot read declare the class okay because we didn't change the name therefore my config is now supposed to be my config no, instead of instead of uh, ci config right and then just refresh there 
right all right so what we need to do here is to say ex we need to add the was remember we are just over we are overwriting a class or overwriting a class what you need to do is to add the extends so here I my loader extends ci loader like that same thing goes for the configuration file it has to extend extends ci config like this right and then you save and then if we go back here our application should work now as you can see now our application is working right so basically we are just going to do a test and see if our configurations are being loaded okay so as an example here is these are the configuration files that are already there so we're going to create a new configuration file and then save it in our shared config folder so let's call it maybe okay, let's create an empty file and let's call it general dot config okay dot php not config right general dot php right uh, remember to always add uh, this uh, line of code so that you are we are sure that um, it's being loaded correctly so there we go right so the format for adding conf configuration files is, 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 is the same so it's just use the config array so in this case let's just call it test config test config and then we're going to give it a value and say this is a test configuration which is shared by all applications right and then we just save that now what we need to do is to open our um, our site config file uh, auto load let's go to auto load and then let's just auto load our configuration file so under config here let's just auto load the general configuration file like that save then go to our application refresh right so the page is loading which means that is good then just check our configuration variables and see if the config file that you added is there test config this is a test configuration which is shared by all applications voila so now we've been able to load a shared resource so this is the site so we should also be able to do the same thing with the admin panel all right so let's just go back a little bit uh let's go to our admin.php file right if you can check here we specified that um our application folder is the admin folder so what we need to do first of all is to configure this application so that it works well with the it works well with the admin folder so we need to go into its configuration and open the config file right so the first thing that you need to do is to tell it where the index file which is supposed to work with instead of index.php it's only supposed to work with admin.php so change that right so now let's just go and test that out and see if it's working so let's go to admin here dot php right voila it's working as well All right so we now have two applications uh which are both using the same um they're both using the same uh the same base installation of code igniter but then the next thing that we want to do now so let's just open the auto load file so that it also so that we can see if, if it's able to add the general configuration file right so we just scroll down to auto load config and then add general if you save that okay so here before we really just check here and see that as you can see our 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 general configuration file is not there but if we refresh we should be able to load it right so here it says that the general configuration file does not exist right so here what you have to do now is we have to go to the site folder right, let's just open that in a new tab right like that and then go to the con to the core folder we, we, create, we created two new files there the my config and the my loader just copy those files and go to the admin folder core right and then just paste them there this should get us working as you can see now it's working and if you check our configuration variables you can see that the test config has been has been loaded as a test configuration which is shared by all applications so yes we have created two applications which are using the same coordinator resources and now um so now the good thing about this approach is that now we need to do updates um like maybe let's, as an example maybe let's say uh code igniter 3.34 comes out 
you simply just have to update the system folder and keep your shared folder there now it won't be affected and uh, everything will just work um, as normal so yeah 